Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so freaking excited for this. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lower abs bar boot camp today. These are some of my favorite moves to really target that like lower belly pooch area that I know as women, just like for anyone, it is a hard spot not only to reduce fat in, but just to like really check in and like helps with our posture and when you're sitting and working from home, it is like one of the first spots to go. So all you'll need for equipment is your LSF slider disc. If you don't have these yet, I'll put a link down below. But also you can just grab two rags, like little towels, face cloths from your house. They'll work totally fine for this workout today. We're only gonna use them in a couple moves. I'm just really excited. I was practicing this one and my abs hurt for like two days. So I know you're gonna feel it. It's gonna be awesome. If you are ready to work those lower abs, sweat the thumbs up, give it a little click. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that button, like right now, subscribe. Cause I have more workouts, more videos for you every single week, but let's get started. All right, girls, so we're gonna start seated on the mat. All you need to do here is hinge back. I want you to contract your lower abs. So this is a great place to start to really lock in that core and feel it. So pull your belly button in toward your spine as you hinge back, keep the pelvis tucked slightly, chest is lifted, shoulders come back. So from right here, you're gonna cross your arms. Think of like, I dream a genie. That's the mode we're going into. And you're gonna exhale, twist, bring your left elbow to your right knee, tap it down and switch. So this is genie, <laughs> little genie abs. All right, twisting side to side. You're gonna feel those low abs contracting. If you worked legs this week, like I did, your quads might feel this a little bit, but I want you to bring your focus to those lower abs. Twist, good. <sighs> exhale. Really lift that knee. Your shoulders are gonna to wanna to creep up here, so keep pulling them down. Keep that chest lifted again. Nice. Tap and twist. Make sure you're breathing. If this is too challenging at all, you can always bring your hands on the floor and just lift the knees, but I want you to try to get that rotation because we are gonna work into the obliques a little bit here as well as those lower abdominal muscles. Good, exhale twist. If you feel your hip flexors trying to take over, you can sit up a little bit taller or leaning back sometimes can actually help as well. It kind of just depends on where that tension is. Keep twisting. Give me eight more on each side. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, for four, Woo. three, two, and one. Exhale. All right, twist it over. Take a quick stretch just to get those hip flexors if they were feeling tight at all. And we're gonna come onto our right side body. So we're gonna start with an oblique jackknife. And again, this is targeting more of the obliques, but you're also gonna get the lower abs on that side that is being lifted. So bring your feet slightly in front of you. So instead of being like a straight line, you're gonna be a super, super, super wide V. Roll back on your booty just a little bit to soften it. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, drive those feet up. We go down and up, good. So I want you to focus on that little spot right above the hip, right about the pelvis, underneath the belly button, on this left side that's lifting. Exhale, draw the belly in a little bit tighter toward the spine. Good, up and down for eight, seven, Six, five, for four, three, two, hold up on one, hold. Now bring those knees in. We pull in and out. Good, in and out. Stay right here for eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one, switching sides right into the right side. Same thing, find that posture first, bring those feet slightly in, roll back on the soft part of your booty, just a little bit. Exhale, lift it up and down. So again, find that spot right here. So slightly above the pelvis to the right, exhale. Pull it in, contract as you lift those legs. Good. Really lift up and squeeze. Again, if you wanna drive that elbow back, a little more oblique with that elbow going down to the side. Seven, six, five, 
five, for four, three, two, hold up, knees in, push out, in and out. Your hand can come to, elbow can come down, or you can just rest. Good, squeeze it in. Get those lower abs working as you draw your knees toward your chest. Exhale. Good. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale into a forearm plank. So forearms, I want you to come into an 11. When you interlace like this, you have a tendency to roll your shoulders forward. So really stack elbows right below those shoulders, heels back, booty down, hold it here. Again, targeting those lower abs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're gonna drop your right knee, then your left. We go right and left. Keep it going. So strong. Good, breathe. Can you draw your belly button up and in toward your spine? As if someone's in the ceiling, there's a string from your belly button going through your back to the sky, pulling that up. Contract, pull it in. Yes, yeah, stay strong here. You have eight, seven, six, and we're gonna take a double knee tap. So both knees will go down and then up. In two and one, both knees go down and up. Press those heels away. You feel those low abs like right where you want it. Good, exhale. Breathe, eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, quick break. Roll out the shoulders, you get a little arm bonus with that one as you target those lower abs there as well. So we're gonna come onto our back for our next move. So let's come all the way onto our backs. You're gonna lift both feet up, bring your thumbs under your tailbone. I want you to scoop your hips under a little bit. So as you start to lower your feet, you're gonna feel your low back lifting up off the mat. There's naturally gonna be a little curve there that's okay, but I want you to focus on tucking that pelvis to try to reduce that curve. And really just to make sure that you're locked in and your form is on point, contracting those lower abs. Your thumbs will come under that tailbone, scoop your hips, press the low back into the mat as much as you can. And then you're gonna take your right foot, point your toes and lower to the floor. We're gonna start with one leg at a time. Exhale, flex, lift it up. We're gonna go down and up. Really easy to start, but I want you to again, focus on those low abs. If you wanna take this up a level, just adding on slightly, you're gonna work a little more of your upper abs here. Shoulders can come lifted off the mat. Elbows stay wide. Inhale, exhale. Keep a little space between your chin and your chest. Good. Do you feel those little abs? <laughs> they like light up immediately as you start going. All the way down and up, good. If you're up and you're like, this is a lot, you can always come back down here. Four more on this side. Three, pull your rib cage together. Two, and one, switch legs. Point down, flex up. Point and lift, good. Keep a flex in this right leg that's going toward the ceiling too, just to keep that contraction as well. If you lift it on the first side, lift here. So find length as you point to lower, flex as you lift it up. Exhale, draw the belly button closer to the floor. Keep your elbows wide. How are you feeling? You got this? Eight, seven, six, for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down under those hips again. We're gonna do double legs, and then we're gonna switch it up here a little bit. So you're gonna point your toes, go down, two, three, four, and up. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. Depending on your strength in your lower abs, that might feel like too much. Your low back might be lifting too much. So if that's the case, only go to where you can, and then bring it back up. Exhale, drive it up. Down nice and slow. Exhale, drive, lift it up. Down, two, three, four, and up, good. 
down, two, three, exhale, drive it up. Give me four more here. Three, two, and one. Exhale, drive, good. Bring those knees in for a moment. Extend your right leg long. Bring your right hand behind your head. Exhale, lift your elbow to meet your knee. You're gonna extend and lower, then exhale, reach toward those toes. Lower down, elbow to knee, in a half bite crunch. Then we toe touch, down, crunch, good. Tap, exhale. My left arm is just kind of floating on the left side, gently touching the floor for support. Shh. Exhale, good. Keep driving that low belly in, keeping it locked in and reach for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, we crunch and tap right into it. So you're crossing the body, then lifting the chest. Good, so strong you guys, come on, come on. We got this, exhale, and lift. Last count of eight here, eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Exhale, big full stretch. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, roll onto your side, come all the way up. If you have those towels or your slider disc, grab them now. I'm gonna fold this in half, so I have a little space. All right, these ones. So we're gonna do a little knee tuck. So think of your plank, a nice high plank, pressing your hands into the mat. Your feet are gonna come onto your towels or onto your sliders. You're gonna take one knee in and lift those hips. So kind of a crouch and curl, slight pike. Bring it out and switch, one at a time. But I want you lifting those hips. So you're not just staying here, keeping it low. It's a lift and out. We lift, good. High, low abs, in case you didn't find them yet, there they are. Good, lift it up. Lift it up. Let's go. Eight on each side. Seven. Six. Five. Dig deep, come on. Four. Lift those hips. Two more on each side. Last one, come on. Exhale, drop it down. Ooh, hi. That one comes for you, it comes fast. All of a sudden you're like, wow, that is so much harder than it looks. Very challenging. Again, that whole lower abdominal area, even gets a little bit of those upper abs too, which is so good. So, final little push in this round. We're gonna do that same motion, but both feet in at a time. So instead of the knee driving up, just the hips go up, your feet drag in, in a full pike. We only have a few. So getting back in position, take an inhale breath. It's gonna look like this, exhale. So drawing the belly up, lifting those hips, extend out, exhale. Big breath, come on. Give me four, three, two, and one, drop it down. It was short, just a little final push there. We got it. All right, let's roll this mat back out. You guys are so freaking strong. <sighs> All right, here we go. We're gonna go into our side body in a tabletop. So left side is down, right side is extended. From here, I want you to reach and find length. Lots of length. Feel the stretch up the side. And then remember this targeted lower belly area we're at. You're gonna drive knee to elbow, reach it out. Pull it in, reach it out. Good. Shh. Exhale. 
little bit easier after those last moves, right? Pull in and out, good. So strong for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold in on one, hold it in, pulse, tiny crunches, yes, in, in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, extend it out, listen for the change, flex into this foot, instead of coming in, you're gonna go straight up, just a little lift, just getting a tiny bit of those obliques, those love handles, still hitting your low abs, it's like a side jumping jack, eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one, switch sides, pull it over, find that length first, find the big stretch, enjoy it while it lasts, <laughs> contract, pull the abs in, drive that knee to the elbow, reach, find length, pull it in, out, and in, good. So nice, you guys. This is really helping elongate, stretch, that nice long lean posture, and then draw and contract, working those abs. Really anytime you're bringing the knee toward the chest above the midline, you're gonna be working your low abs. So even when you're sitting at your desk, you can seriously just sit there and lift your knees up, and you can contract and work your low abs in your chair in the middle of the day without getting sweaty or anything crazy. For four, then we pulse. Three, two, hold in on one, hold, pulse, eight. Yes. Tighter, tighter. Go, 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 give me four. Four, three, two, one, and reach, relax. Flex this foot, side jack to the side, up, down, lift, and lower, good. Really focus right here, that's what's lifting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale on our backs, all the way down. Roll it down. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, let it go. Thumbs under your tailbone. So we started with our genies. See this up, sitting up. Now we're gonna take it to a similar motion, but with a leg extension, kind of like a half bike. So press your feet out. You're gonna point and tap twice. Bring it in and switch. Tap, tap, in. Right goes out and in. Left goes out and in. Double tap, pull in. Good. The key here is a few things. One, obviously scooping your pelvis under, locking those hips in, really drawing that belly button in, and then extending your leg as long as you can. When you bring your knee back in, trying to keep it stacked right over your hips, not pulling it in. So it makes it easier if you pull here, it's resting, keep it contracted. You can lift your shoulders to up level even more. Good, tap, tap, drive it in. Exhale. Good. Gentle tap. You can even just float tap, you don't have to hit the floor takes even more control. So that floor gives you a little momentum, a little bounce, a little break. No breaks. Try not to touch the floor. Ready? In. Tap, tap, in. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, for four, three, two, and one. Draw it in, quick break. Take an inhale breath. Exhale it out, good. One inhale, hold on the exhale. Your next inhale, shoulders lift, everything reaches long. Exhale, pull it in tighter. Reach long, pull it in. <sighs> Drive those knees up, little reverse crunch to really work those low abs, come on. Bye bye belly pooch, it's leaving. Ring it out. <sighs> 
for eight, seven, six, five, pull and lift, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, let it go. Big stretch, good. Roll onto your side, come all the way up. Our final little push with our sliders. This is the last exercise, truly a big final push here. All right, targeting those low abs. So we did our knee tuck, sort of half pike. We did a full pike. We're gonna take it to a mountain climber and more of a spider crunch on the side, just to hit, again, a little bit of those ob obliques and love handles. All right, girls, so sliders on the feet. We're gonna come into a high plank once again, right here. It's gonna look like this. One, two, three, four. So on the outside. So knees drive in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. So you're coming straight in and then wrapping more to get that knee to touch the outside of the elbow. Yes, this is it though. Then we're done with this one, you ready? All right, in that high plank, in four, three, two, one. We go right, left, outside, outside, in, in, out, out, yes. Spread your fingers wide. You can slow this down if you want to, in, in, out, out, in, in. You find where you wanna be. In, in, out, out. Good. One more. Now just in, 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 in. Yes. Final push. Stay with me. Stay with me, with me. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Let it go. Shake it off. Whew. All right. That's it, you guys. We're gonna cool it down. We're gonna stretch it out. Whew. Breathe. Let's move these out of the way. How are you doing? You good? Those, those slider moves kind of come out of the blue. Like you know you should know it's gonna be intense, but then as soon as you're going, you're like, holy crap, <laughs> like, it's so hard. All right, let's come onto our bellies. Uh, exhale, let all the air out. So just right here, before we go anywhere else, I want you to just like check in with that lower belly, lower ab area. So you feel it on the mat, kind of that soft spot between your hip bones. So rock side to side, so you can find those hips. And then that softer area in between. So I want you to focus on that for a second. Draw your belly button in, squeeze. Squeeze that area tight. Pull it in, you should still be able to breathe totally normally. I mean like maybe not normal because that worked out, but like sort of normal. <laughs> as you contract and squeeze it. Good. Keep it locked in, exhale, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, stretch out those abs. Good, let everything just shift toward the floor. Pull your shoulders away from the ears. Big inhale, breath, exhale. Look over your right shoulder, allow all the weight to fall into your left hip. You go a little bit deeper. Switch sides. Good, and breathe. Exhale. Come back to center. Lift a little bit higher. Sit those hips back. Good, big exhale breath. Stretch it out, gentle rock side to side. And roll it up. Woo! Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I've been doing the premium app workouts and the daily tendon bonus moves. My body is so sore that that like really got me. I mean, that would be hard anytime, but like that came for me today. So if you felt it too, sweat the thumbs up, like it, comment down below, tell me how you're feeling right now. And if you guys like this full length workout with me, like I have over a hundred videos in the app for you. Tons and tons, plus at your own pace, personal training, step-by-step -step that you can do beginner, intermediate, advanced, tracking trophies and this incredible community who's all doing the app with you to support you every single day. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, I'll put the link down below. You can get a seven day free trial to check out the app. We do all of our fun challenges in there. 
you guys don't want to miss it. It's so amazing. And for like less than $9 a month, you get like personal training with me at home and full length videos. That's pretty crazy. So check that out. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.